Hey there, it's BC Tesla Guy. Uh, today I'm going to review the latest release from Tesla. It's release 2022.24.6. I just downloaded it uh, a few hours ago, but I did have uh, .5 for a few days. Doesn't look like there's anything changed except for the introduction to Tesla Vision. So uh, let's go through uh, the release notes. We'll start with that. So. Uh, you can see from my screen here, I'm on uh, 22.24.6. And if we click on the release notes, there's a few items here. There's Tesla profiles. So one of those features, that feature there is um, been introduced. So if you have more than one Tesla, and I would say the same like Model 3, or Model Y, then it will re remember all your mirror settings, uh, seat settings, steering wheel adjustments, autopilot driving and climate control preferences, as well as navigation, media, and data sharing preferences. So that's what it's going to do uh, for the uh, profile. But if you're most likely, if you have a Model 3 and a Model Y, it's not going to go back and forth. It will just have two settings, one for each. Uh, it's kind of unclear right now and I haven't been able to see uh, anybody that has one of each and see what that happens. But that's what I, my assumption is, is if you have a Model 3 and then you have another Model 3, you can go into that one and you can go ahead and have the same preferences. So um, that's simply by going, it, clicking on your name up at the top here. When you click on that, it has who you are. If I click on myself, there's a driver profile settings. That's that new introduction. And you'll notice um, I've got my wife and then I've got this, my, my one here, which is the one that I have. And all I do is click on that and I'm going to share that with my person that I have in this car. And I just go set up. And now you'll notice at the top, it has uh, the picture that will now go share this profile with other Model 3 Teslas of which I do not own any other ones. So that's that first one. Uh, let's go back into the release notes. The second one is blind spot camera. This one is a great one. This one allows you to adjust where that camera is so you can see it'll show you where you can adjust it right here so when you signal it brings up the camera where it used to go was down here on the bottom it would sit there and it was kind of hard to see a lot of people complained about it if you click on it it shows you the two options i will say that if you just move it up to the top i don't like this position some may but i don't like this position so i will move it over and i put it here so again the previous setting was down here when i did the dot five update the next time i signaled it showed it up there and all you have to do is drag it to one of those three locations so that's my preference right there um disable sentry sound so I guess some people have some issues where something is triggering their sentry and it's going off just like, you know, the old car alarm going off in the middle of the night. So they've made it possible for you to turn this off. Um, you go into control, safety, sentry mode. So let's go ahead and go in there. Safety. And here you can turn it off or on. So there's a one of the things that's good is every time there's something here, you can always click on the information and it will tell you what it is. So you can go ahead and turn that off. So down here, there's disable sentry sounds. By disabling the sound, sentry mode will no longer honk or generate a large unexpected sound, which is that music, uh, that uh, heavy duty uh, rock, heavy rock music that's played inside the car uh, when, it's, uh, when it detects it. So I'm just going to leave that the way it is because I do actually want this to go off. Uh, so that's one of those. Let's go into the software again. Release notes. 
we've got traffic along route. So if I go ahead and I set a destination, uh, let's see here, I'll pick something, lane supercharger. You'll notice here that it shows where the traffic is, but along the route now, it actually shows the traffic here. So you can see that up here, there's a little delay and a little bit longer, and then some more delays here. It's really nice uh, to see this. It's a wonder, wonderful feature. Um, and I'm really happy to see this come along. So I'm just gonna go ahead and cancel that. Bring back the software update. Um, driver profiles. So any navigation or favorites will now be saved to the active user. So what that is, is if you set navigation, these navigations are kind of set to what um, I see or what I've gone to. And when my wife logs into the car, she will get her set of favorites and charging things. So that's that profile thing that they're mentioning. Uh, pull this back up. Software. So that's the last of the dot six. Dot five was the same. Um, couple other, let me see, I've got some notes here. So, oh yeah, so <clears throat> one of the biggest release parts for the Dot 6 is they introduced the Tesla Vision update. So cars that have the radar on them, so older Model 3s that are capable of Tesla Vision will now have Tesla Vision. They won't have the radar anymore, so they're, they're basically taking that away. Um, we've got the blind spot, profiles, traffic along route, disable sentry sounds, driver profiles, uh, regen braking. So let's go into that. It's undocumented. I don't know if it was in any other release that I had seen, but now what happens is if you go to uh, pedal and steering, apply brakes when generating uh, regenerative braking is limited so you can pull that up and get more detail but I'll tell you what where it comes into play you've charged your car to hundred percent or uh, more than 95 percent you almost have no braking with uh, regen and it feels like it coasts and it's a little bit concerning when you first uh, have that happen so what it's gonna do now is it's gonna apply the brakes to give you that sense or the feeling that it's slowing down the same way. Now, another place where this comes into play is in the winter when the battery is cold and it you can't really get really good regenerative braking, this is gonna apply the brakes at the time when you're slowing down. So I guess we'll find out how that actually works when it comes into uh, the winter time, but I think it's an added benefit because it will slow the car down just as if you're doing one pedal driving and You shouldn't feel any difference now. I haven't tested it out yet. I don't normally charge my car above 90% so I I'm not sure what it's gonna feel like in the pedal So I may charge it a bit higher on a cold morning and just see where that plays out by turning this function on But you just turn on like that pretty simple <clears throat> GPS direction so that's another one that's undocumented I believe but if we go ahead and we do that navigation again so we're now navigating to somewhere over here the directions are gonna pop up so if I pull up another screen oh, did I, um, like, oh, I guess I got to be in drive. So I'm in drive. I pull that up. So it's now blocking the screen. What it does now is it puts the directions for the next thing you're going to do. So in 200 meters, I'm going to turn right. That's what this piece is. It gets pumped over to the, to the left side. So that's kind of nice. 
Another thing that has come up is the signals now are at the very top. So they used to be below the regenerative line. They're now above that line. So that's pretty good. I like that as well. So I'm just going to cancel that navigation. Tire pressure. This is another one that uh, is really nice. So if you go into your controls and service, so at the very top, it gives you the recommendation for uh, 42 PSI for front and back on my car. Um, it's also in the door jam, but it's nice to have it like right here now. And you can see your uh, latest uh, tire pressures. Um, normally, if you've parked your car overnight and you get into your car and you check your pressures, they all say zero. Now what it's going to do is it's going to remember what the last pressure was and it will say uh, how many hours ago. So it'll say 42 uh, PSI eight hours ago. So that's a, that's a nice function. It is really nice to have that. Um, one that I'm not really in, interested in, but it's there. It's a new feature, which is uh, under, I guess, again, Uninstall games. I guess it's under arcade. Yeah You can see over here. It says install size local drive and you can uninstall it It just it'll leave this app here. So it's not like it disappears But instead of saying uninstall, it's going to say install So I'm not really sure what the purpose of lo uh, uninstalling the application other than maybe the drive is broken up into install files on one drive and the application is installed in another drive where by uninstalling it you remove it from that drive but I can't see the drive so I don't really know if that is a, a thing. Another part again with the navigation go back into here so we used to have to scroll through all this to find out how much the state of charge is that we're going to get there. But now it's there automatically. And I think if you, let's put it in drive and bring up a window. No, it does not do that. It does. Um, so let's try navigating to not uh, so you used to have to scroll through all this stuff to get to what the percentage arrival state is so here it's going to show the arrival state if you do you scroll to the bottom you will get if you're going to come back you can see how much you're going to end up with coming back so that's the round trip that's still there but they did take away you have to scroll to get how much you're going to be there. It's nice now that this is returned. So another another one I like is the green traffic light chime. So under autopilot at the very bottom, by default, it's turned off. You turn this on and we can read what it does. What it does is it plays a chime if you're sitting at a stop light and it's red and it goes green. If you don't move for it's about a second, it will chime. And if a car is in front of you and it detects that there's a stoplight and it goes green, when that car moves, it also will chime. It's, it's, it's not required, but it is kind of nice to have that. It's just a, let's get going, okay? And so, yeah, I turned that on. I love that. Green light uh, chime. These are the documented and undocumented uh, additions to 2022.24.6 or dot five it seems like six is just a, a patch to it there's nothing anything new other than the tesla vision i believe and uh, hopefully soon we can see a couple more but the really good ones which are the blind blind camera which is really nice the tire pressures which was there previously we'll see what the tesla vision does to some of the other cars that uh, have been using radar um, I kind of liked the radar on my other car, so um, I thought I kind of missed it, even though maybe not. Anyway, those are the updates. Um, 
Thanks for watching and if you enjoyed the content, uh, please subscribe to my channel and like this video and click the bell so you'll be notified when I do other videos uh, like this.